Uh, I want to get into the uh, what I see from you. We're going to start with the sign language. Yes, you are. Now, we're going to rank this from, from the fourth to the one. As far as number four, what's are you? Which one are you? Uh, best describes you. Is you do like to shame men. You do like to shame the brothers on these platforms. Now, what do the? Why do you like to? When we're engaging in a, a debate, a conversation, whatever the case may be, we have our points. For the most part, we're respectful. But depending on who hops in our conversation you will go so hard to shame the man that's going at her and shame the man in general like let's say if um, I was watching earlier on Bala X you try to do, to a degree uh, defend Tinette and I'm like she don't need no defending to the point it's like you will shame us well, why do you like to do this to us brothers we don't do nothing to you I know you have some weird takes. We don't. Why do you like to shame us so bad? Because y'all like to shame, and it's fun to throw it back at you. Honestly. Oh, like who? Oh, come I, on, I mean, guys. Uh, I don't even think I've ever came at you personally, but no. I, the only time I Not usually stick really. the link and get up there and start popping my junk is when the conversation is getting like just ridiculously stupid, and y'all start talking like y'all know everything. You're like, huh? Okay, so we're all like that. All right, I got a different take. Mm -hmm. And then when y'all yeah. call cap on like some some real stuff that I've actually experienced or um, have first hand, I mean second hand experience with, then it just makes me even want to go harder. Mm. And I never but, deny what y'all talking about though either. Right, and for the most part, I, obviously I don't. I don't. Uh, discredit anybody's uh, personal experience so that's why I normally like to stick in the general section the general section because that way I could I can clown you if I uh, need to but with that sometimes you get the insulting like what does you, you, sometimes you do insult the brothers and but you you're just like me you will insult them but you do it such a classy way that they're not gonna realize it until they hit replay He's like, did she just call me a nigga? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I was watching that back. I was like, mm, yeah, I was like, yep, yeah, uh, Vic is going to feel that. I said, no, he won't. He, he's a Mississippian. Let me not, let me not say that. Uh, there, was a, there was a couple of brothers on there that I was like, as soon as they hit replay, they're going to be hopping mad. But yeah. what line, but you don't, but what line does someone have to cross for you to even get out of character? Let me not say get out of character because you're from Crenshaw. You're basically from Cali all the way to Atlanta. So this is damn near in your blood. But what? Yeah, why? Why do you always gotta take it take it that route? If, um, we, if, we're, if we're saying what you said was wrong or what you said was stupid, we're not calling you stupid. But sometimes you was like, "Oh, really?" You straight dagger to the chest. What's up with that? Um. Depending on my mood, you know, if you poke me in the eye, I'll either sock you in the face or, you know, I'll, I might poke you in the eye back. I don't know. Yep, yeah, that's that Cali. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, you know, just all the, all around violent. But it, number two and number one thing is one thing you I know you cannot deny. If you don't guilt somebody into being wrong, you down sure gonna find which is number one, you'll find a way to be right. It's always a need to because I am right. Huh? I said because I am right. When, where, how, why, how, when, where was I at? <laughs> uh if you want me to pull up something specific, I have no idea. Half the time I don't even re be remembering the conversations after I hang up the phone. Real talk. Mm -hmm. Unless I have a grudge towards that person or something like that. Do you? Uh, mm -mm, never mind. Never mind. We ain't gotta. We ain't gotta do all that. But we are. Why? Why is it? I guess. See, I don't necessarily when when I'm in these spaces or when I'm talking to people. See, this is why I like my channel because I get to elaborate a little bit more. 
and I feel like I'm undefeated. I'm undefeated any panel I go on. But I'm you're, no one's really gonna mess with me over here. So sometimes when you when we engage in these, these topics, these discussions, do you what's what's that where you what, what are you feeling? Like you just like, no, I'm right, you're wrong, here's why. And you just go in on them. Like, what pushes you to that? Because half the time it just seems like they just take in all accountability off themselves and what they could have done differently and just put it and just you know just put it all on women it's her fault like every every time well I won't say every time I'll say most of the time when some of these dudes talk it's like you don't have like it's like you you name it all these different scenarios and all these different women not even realizing that nigga you the common denominator cuz like it's how do you not see this you know and every everything is the woman's fault just everything you know you ain't never met a chick that wasn't worried about your you know wasn't worried about your pocket but at the same time how can you be mad about somebody being worried about your pocket when that's the first thing that you present even when you insult other men not you personally but you right. know, general yeah it's like what like what do you expect Okay. No, no, that that is fair. And that's one thing I have been telling brothers all along. It's like be if you're going to engage in these uh conversations, be careful what you say because it can be used against you. Like um like for example, um there's an individual in this space that no need to uh, bring up his name. Of course, you know these guys that are on that we must protect black women and protect them at all costs, this type of thing. But then again, you then, weeks later, back door and say, all of them are hoes anyway. And it's like, mm-hmm. what the hell are you doing? Yeah. So, I mean, if you hang around, if you hang around a bunch of hoes, then yeah, all women are hoes, huh? Yeah, 